It's not the change Deanne Servos at Prodigy Pantry was hoping for this month. Instead of reopening the warehouse to families this week as scheduled, they've made the decision to stick with outside drive through operations through at least February 1st. Because the pandemic has dragged on and families are still trying to recover from missing paychecks during shutdown, it's hard to say, here's another surge. It's exhausting. It's emotionally draining for these families. The Baldwin County nonprofit food bank helping families in need, and that service is becoming even more of a necessity as the COVID 19 pandemic lingers on. The first thing we hear is, I'm forced to stay home. I'm not getting a paycheck, so I can't even afford to be sick. The staff here in Spanish Fort even offering quarantine assistance to families who have tested positive for the virus. On a typical week, one or two families need that extra help. But last week, Prodigy Pantry received nine requests for quarantine assistance, and you can see those special pallets are ready to get put to use. We can actually pull groceries and other resources, bleach and cleaning supplies, and get them here for them to pick up or work on other arrangements. This parking lot is filling up week after week on distribution days and volunteers are making it all possible. Prodigy Pantry says so far their volunteers are staying healthy and working extra hours to make sure families have their essentials. What a blessing to have that dedicated staff and to have volunteers from the community who will just come in for a day or two because they also want to help us. In Spanish Ford, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.